you guys so today I want to show you guys how to make some emoji bath bombs and I am so excited to be making this video because bath bombs are so in right now and so are emojis so I've been kind of waiting like to see if somebody would do it because I just think it sounds amazing and I'm so surprised nobody has done emoji bath bombs so me and my friend Tanya here on YouTube decided to do some she was the first person I ever collabed with in my Mother's Day DIY video and I will always collab with her because she has a special place in my heart she is such a good friend she's been there for me since day one she's gonna do different emojis than I am though so go check her video out I'm gonna link her down below don't forget to go show her some love tell her I sent you go subscribe to her and let me tell you guys now I know why people haven't done emoji bath bombs it was kind of hard figuring out how in the world were we gonna make the features for the face but we made it happen and I'm so glad we did I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like I just said that don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe for more videos. It's just so that I could pop up in your subscription feed, like when I upload a new video or whatever. And I think you guys should because I have a lot of cool videos coming up, a lot of giveaways and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna stop blabbering. If you guys wanna see how I made these emoji bath bombs, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with the face features because that's probably what you wanna see first. I'm taking some glycerin soap and I'm gonna melt that down. I'm gonna make two different batches. For my first batch, I'm gonna melt that and I'm gonna put some red food coloring and that's gonna be my hard eyes for my heart eyes emoji obviously I'm gonna pour this into a separate plate to dry however for my next batch I'm just gonna put it in the plate that I'm gonna originally dry it in because it's just gonna be easier that way as that dries I'm gonna begin to do my next batch and this is gonna be for the features and for my next emoji so I'm adding some black food dye or soap coloring and you only need a little bit you guys believe me this goes a very long way as you can see Alright, so now coming back to my red um, soap, I'm going to leave the black to dry and I'm going to go ahead and peel a piece right off of the plate. It's going to be very flexible and very easy to work with and I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm pretty much just going to cut out my features. That's how it's going to be and the soap is very soft so no matter how dry it gets, it's very easy to work with. Even if your cutouts don't come out perfect, that's fine. You could just go ahead with your X-Acto knife and kind of perfect your little features. And I actually used a lot of soap, even if I just used one or two squares. But I'm going to go ahead and melt this maybe later on in the future to use it again. I'm placing my features inside my little bath bomb mold. And I'm going to use the black, peel that off like I did to the red one. And I'm going to make my little smile, my mouth for the emoji. I'm going to place that into my bath bomb once again. And that's pretty much it for this mold. I'm going to go on to my next one. My next bath bomb is the cool guy with the glasses on. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out some glasses out of my black soap. And it's pretty simple. I'm not even sure how to explain to you guys. You just look at a picture and you kind of just cut him out. And that's literally it. I'm just going to go ahead and place this into my mold. And like I said, the soap is very flexible. So you should have no problem doing that. Then go ahead and cut out a mouth. I didn't need to because this was actually a shaving off of the sunglasses when I was trying to trim it down. So that worked out perfectly. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to get into my bath bombs. You're going to need cornstarch, citric acid, and baking soda. For the citric acid, I could not find it in stores. I looked at so many stores looking for this like crazy. My best advice is look at two stores, two grocery stores. If you can't find it, order it online like I did. You're also going to need some food dye or some kind of soap coloring. And I'm also taking some essential oil that smells like vanilla. Get any kind of scent that you would like. I'm using a cup of citric acid, a cup of baking soda, and a fourth cup of cornstarch. So right now you're just pretty much mixing all the dry ingredients and you're just going to stir it with some kind of fork or a whisk or something, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to just stir until everything's blended together or actually pretty much until all the clumps are gone. Once that's all blended, I'm going to take a spray bottle and I'm going to put some water in there. I'm going to put my food coloring, yellow food coloring, and I'm just going to begin adding this slowly to my mix. I'm going to add a spray or two and then just mix. Keep adding another spray or two and just keep mixing and that's pretty much all you do until you get a sand, a wet sand texture. So you have to take your time with this. Don't go crazy and pour everything in there at once because this will react like a bath bomb in a bowl. So be really careful. So my mixture feels good now. It feels like wet sand. So I'm going to begin to add my essential oil which is vanilla flavor, vanilla scented. And I'm just going to mix that a little bit more to get the scent into my bath bomb. And I'm just going to start adding this to my molds now. I'm going to put little amounts at the bottom. How do I explain this? I'm adding small scoops to the bottom of my bath bomb mold where my face features are. 
and I'm just slowly and carefully pushing this down because I don't want to ruin the face and I don't want to move it everywhere once I feel like it's secure I'm gonna go ham and I'm just gonna start pouring it in here like crazy using my hands to smash it in there and just really have it dense and compressed in there once I filled both of the halves, I'm going to go ahead and put them together and I'm going to squeeze and I'm going to try to put the two molds together pretty much and just kind of try to connect it. It's going to be kind of hard, but you know, just do what you can do. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that aside. I'm going on to my next emoji bath bomb. I'm doing the exact same thing. Again, just be careful when you're compressing it onto the face. After that, go crazy and just, you know, smash it in there. You're going to use way more powder than you think, so just go ahead and add as much as you can. And do the same thing to the other side. And then, of course, just put them together. Tighten them up as much as you can. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to pop my molds in the fridge for 30 minutes. I'm not even sure if this is mandatory, but I just went ahead and did that. And then I'm going to take them out. going to pop them out of my shell or out of my molds. <laughs> and I'm just going to take a spoon or a fork to tap it lightly, to, you know, for vibrations and to let it loose. And I'm just going to take off the molds, like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and break off the excess. You guys could go ahead and leave that on, but I mean, it's an emoji and it's round. So I'm breaking that off. And this part should be pretty easy since I put it in the fridge. It's a little hard. It's soft, but I mean, it got a little bit hard. And I'm just going to take my other bath bomb out of its mold, break off the sides like I did to the other one. And that is pretty much it. After that, I'm going to let them sit overnight. And that is when they will completely harden. Now I'm just going to put this in the bath bomb. I mean in the bath. So I can show you guys how it works. A little demo. And there it is. I mean it looks like a bath bomb. I've never used a bath bomb in my life. But I'm guessing this is how they're supposed to look. Because I've seen videos about it. And honestly looking back now. All I can think of is this water looks like pee. And it's freaking disgusting. But I promise you the scent is going to make it all better. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now that you finished watching this video, do not forget to go watch Tanya's video. I'm going to have her linked in my description box, her video, and her channel as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you decide to recreate this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Tanya on Instagram as well. If you recreate hers, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!